Hello everyone. How is your preparation is going on? I am here to start my booster crash course for NEET 2020. And from today onwards, you are having only 81 days in your hands. So prepare honestly as well as stay motivated during these 81 days. So let's we start with our booster crash course and I here select the topic from class 11 that the second chapter biological classification so let's begin with biological classification so as you all know biological classification means the process in which we classify the individuals or classify the living beings on the basis of their similarities and dissimilarities so all of you know about the definition of classification that on the basis of similarities and dissimilarities we classify the individuals living individuals in, in different different groups when we study about the biological classification so here you remember first the basic we study about the three types of classification or three different criteria for classification so first criteria you remember the first biological classification the first time provided by Aristotle so here we remember you remember Aristotle classification in Aristotle classification you remember we divided the entire living world into plants and animals and so divided into plants and animals and again the main important point for Aristotle classification you remember the plants are further divided into three categories. What criteria used by Aristotle for his classification of plants? So here you remember the Aristotle classify plant mainly on the morphological characters or morphological features. So this thing you remember on the basis of morphology he divided the plants into three groups. These three groups as we all know that herb, shrubs and trees okay so on the basis of herbs shrubs and trees aristotle divided plant and the basis for the division is morphological character secondly similarly he divided the animals into two broad categories animals with rbc or red blood corpuscles and animals without rbc so he clearly distinguished the animalia king kingdom into two classes in one class he placed those animals in which the RBC is present whereas the second group of animal consists of the animals which where the RBC is completely absent. Now second more second classification in this respect we study that second classification is two kingdom classification. So here again important part is who, who proposed the two kingdom classification. The two kingdom classification you remember it was proposed by Linnaeus. Up normally study karte hai, but you remember Carolus Linnaeus proposed this two kingdom classification and uh, Linnaeus when you study about the Linnaeus. So two things you remember Linnaeus provided the two kingdom classification as well as Linnaeus ne aap yaad rakhiyega. Linnaeus also provided the binomial nomenclature that you all studied in your chapter one. So two kingdom classification here you remember it is provided by Linnaeus, Carolus Linnaeus original name is Carl von Linne. In two kingdom classification Linnaeus divided the entire living world into clearly two categories that is Planty and Animalia. Okay, so in Planty he included all the living creatures or individuals where with cell wall mode of nutrition is okay but the main criteria when linnaeus divided the planty and animalia at that time he included all individuals having a cell wall they placed in planty and animalia animalia all the cells or all the individuals are present without Cell walls so included in animalia but one of the major drawback of this two kingdom classification that the individuals with cell wall already up clear hai. the fungi is having a cell wall of chitin 
सिमिलरली मोनेरा में आप बैक्टीरिया में स्टडी करेंगे आगे कि मोनेरा आल्सो हैविंग द सेल वॉल दैट इज ऑफ पेप्टिडोग्लाइकेन एंड सिमिलरली इन प्लांट आप स्टडी करते ही हैं कि प्लांट में सेल वॉल कैसे इन प्लांट सेल वॉल इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेल्यूलोज सो दीज थ्री मेंबर्स प्लांट मोनेरा एंड फंजाई दे ऑल आर इंक्लूडेड इन प्लांटी वेयर एज वेन वी यूज द वर्ड प्लांटी मीन्स आपके माइंड में स्ट्राइक होता है और नॉर्मली प्लांटी मीन्स ऑल द ऑटोट्रॉफिक सेल वॉल बियरिंग क्रिएचर्स जितने भी है ऑल दे आर इंक्लूडेड इन द प्लांटी बट हियर इन एडिशन टू प्लांट ग्रुप लीनियस इंक्लूडेड मोनेरा एज वेल एज फंजाई सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द ड्रॉबैक फॉर लीनियस क्लासिफिकेशन सो दिस क्लासिफिकेशन इज ओनली हिस्टोरिकली इंपॉर्टेंस नाउ वी कम टूवर्ड्स द फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन सो हियर यू रिमेंबर द मोस्ट वाइडली एसेप्टेड क्लासिफिकेशन द मोस्ट वाइडली एसेप्टेड क्लासिफिकेशन इज फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन सो इन दिस क्लास वी मेनली स्टडी अबाउट फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन एंड देन we from our next class we continue with the monera kingdom okay so here you remember first five kingdom classification so when this question is repeatedly asked direct question it is the who proposed the five kingdom classification and difficulty why it is quite easy question so here you remember rh whitaker propose the five kingdom classification the second important part for the five kingdom classification is basis of or the criteria of classification so what are the major basis of classification that part we discuss quite in detail because if the five kingdom classification conceptually clear to all students then only you correctly attempt the questions regarding prokaryotes and eukaryotes clear because one of the major confusion is present for uh, available in students that is they can't differentiate properly in between the examples of monera and the examples of protista and because the main reason behind this कि फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन का जो कॉन्सेप्चुअल पार्ट है वो कॉन्सेप्चुअल पार्ट आपका कहीं ना कहीं वीक होता है क्लियर है तो यहाँ पर ही हम पढ़ते हैं बेसिस ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन सेकेंडली एक टिप आप यूज करिएगा वाइल प्रिपरेशन फॉर द नीट एग्जाम्स यू इंप्रूव योर रीडिंग स्पीड बिकॉज इफ यू इंप्रूव योर रीडिंग स्पीड सो बायोलॉजी सेक्शन जो आप अपना प्रिपेयर करेंगे अपने बायोलॉजी सेक्शन वेन यू सॉल्व इन योर फाइनल एग्जाम सो इफ योर स्पीड इज ओके देन मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन है आपके बायोलॉजी सेक्शन के सो दो नाइन्टी क्वेश्चन यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व और ट्राई टू कंप्लीट नियरली इन फिफ्टी फाइव मिनट्स एंड दैट इज ओनली पॉसिबल वेन यू आर हैविंग द रीडिंग स्पीड एंड अलॉन्ग विथ रीडिंग स्पीड इक्वली एक्यूरेसी इज रिक्वायर्ड सो टू थिंग्स यू ट्राई टू इनबिल्ड ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम पीरियड ओके सो बेसिस ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन जब आप स्टडी करना स्टार्ट करते हैं सो फोर क्राइटेरिया विटेकर यूज इन एज क्लासिफिकेशन द फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया आप देखिए द फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ सेल और इट इज सिंपली यू रिमेंबर कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ न्यूक्लियस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ न्यूक्लियस द सेल्स आर डिवाइडेड और एंटायर लिविंग वर्ल्ड इज डिवाइडेड इन टू two groups that is prokaryot and eukaryot already you are all are knowing what is prokaryot and eukaryot in simple terms prokaryot means cell with incipient nucleus or primary nucleus whereas eukaryot means cells kaise honge aapke cells are present with developed nucleus or they are present with advanced nucleus so this is the first criteria then he come we come towards the second criteria the second criteria for five kingdom classification that is body organization so body organization mein aap study karte hain whether the body is made up of single cell or it is made up of multiple cell and if the body is consist of multiple cell that means whether the body yaad rakhiyega whether the body is showing cellular grade of organization tissue grade of organization and third we study that is organ and organ system of organization so this criteria he use and on the basis of this criteria 
we divided the living world into two groups that is the cells with unicellular organization and the animals with multicellular organization okay in case if you have any difficulty doubts in your last year questions paper from this topic so you can write those difficulties or doubts in comment box so in later sections when will uh, when i will uh, take one class only for chapter 1 doubt discussion class in that uh, in that class or video i will discuss all those doubts okay then the third criteria hum yahan par aate hain the third criteria for the five kingdom classification you remember that third criteria for five kingdom classification is nutrition so the depending on the different modes of nutrition we take a divided the multicellular groups into three that is fungi plantae and animalia and the fourth one most criteria that is the phylogeny here most of the students are having a confusion so phylogenetic relation or phylogeny or phylogenetic relation word is also used so phylogeny ka meaning yaad rakhiye phylogeny ka meaning hota hai when we made a study among inter interrelative study among the different groups on the basis of fossil records so phylogeny basically aapka kya hai the study of fossil record as well as finding the interrelationship among the different groups or different kingdoms that is called as phylogeny we take or use this criteria only finding for primitive and advanced kingdoms so this thing you remember these are the four criteria is part se aapko ek question milega last years ke isme ki which of the criteria will not used by the bitaker in his classification system so here you remember answer hi yaad rakhiye reproduction is the criteria which is not utilized or used by the bitaker in his five kingdom classification okay now we study the plan for five kingdom classification when plan we come to the plan for classification according to five kingdom so here you remember five kingdom classification and in five kingdom classification when we will start so the entire living world you remember first criteria here you pay attention on criteria complexity of nucleus so on the basis of complexity of nucleus we take or divided the entire living world that entire living world we divided into two groups only that is prokaryote and eukaryote okay now the second for second criteria classification is body organization in body organization you remember the all prokaryotes are unicellular in nature whereas eukaryotes eukaryotes you remember they may be unicellular or they may be multicellular so eukaryotic group of individual further divided into two group classes according to body organization that is unicellular eukaryote and multicellular eukaryote clear hai ye part now prokaryote identical feature yaad rakhiye all the prokaryotes are unicellular and unicellular prokaryotes ke liye the kingdom is made by bitaker that kingdom is monera so here you remember monera is the kingdom of prokaryotic organization for monera you mainly remember the examples that we discuss in our next video that is bacteria blue green algae or cyanobacteria and third most important is mycoplasma because strictly we follow the ncert during this booster crash course so these three examples you remember for the monera monera means prokaryote and unicellular now the eukaryotic unicellulars eukaryotic unicellulars are placed in the second kingdom that second kingdom you remember is protista so here you remember protista so now you clear your concept what is the basic difference between protista and monera monera is a kingdom unicellular kingdom monera is a kingdom of prokaryotic unicellular where is the protista is a kingdom of eukaryotic unicellular some of the important examples of protista you remember diatoms euglena padte hain 
सेकेंडली डाइनोफ्लैजिलेट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्लास ऑफ द प्रोटेस्टा इज प्रोटोजोवा क्लियर स्लाइम मोल ट्राइजोफाइट दे आर ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड सो ऑल दीज विज सेपरेटली स्टडी नाउ वी कम टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट मल्टी सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो फॉर डिविजन ऑफ अ मल्टी सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी यूज द थर्ड क्राइटेरिया दैट थर्ड क्राइटेरिया इज न्यूट्रिशन एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन द मल्टी सेल्युलर यू कैरियॉर्ड्स फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री kingdoms so first you see what is the nutrition how the nutrition the first mode of nutrition is heterotrophic so in this all the heterotrophic and non chlorophyllous individuals are included secondly the autotrophic that means clear hai aap sabhi ko autotrophic living beings are placed in plantae and the fourth third next mode that mode you remember is holozoic mode of nutrition okay so heterotrophic autotrophic and holozoic secondly in this again he gave the idea about body organization also heterotrophic individuals are only showing multicellular grade of organization whereas in autotrophic kingdom the grade of organization is up to tissue level so tissue level grade of organization whereas in holozoic kingdom of a holo kingdom of holozoic individual show all the possible cellular tissue organ and organ system but when we talk about the animalia so mainly you remember organ and organ system is the main grade of organization clear hai so here you remember the third kingdom he made for incorporating heterotrophic and cellular grade of organization that you remember fungi so all fungi you remember a chlorophyllous and all the fungi you remember they are heterotrophic in mode of nutrition so fungi you remember here you remember the next is fungi clear after that autotrophic tissue level autotrophic tissue level mein aap yaad rakhiye the kingdom plantae so fourth kingdom according to five kingdom classification is plantae that we will separately study in chapter 3 clear and the holozoic nutrition with organ organ system as well as cellular and tissue level grade of organization cellular grade you studied in porifera clear hai na so wo sab part aap padhte hain animal classification mein so this you remember about the kingdom is animalia okay so these are the five kingdoms which we are proposed by vitaker so again i recall whatever we study in today's class that is the aristotle classification means the grouping of organism on the basis of similarities and dissimilarities aristotle divided entire living world into plant and animal for plant classification he used the morphological characters and according to morphology he divided the plant into herbs shrubs and trees and animals he divided according to their presence or absence of rbc so one group with rbc and another group is without rbc okay after that two kingdom classification for two kingdom classification you only remember it was proposed by linnaeus or carolus linnaeus and then we come towards the five kingdom classification in five kingdom classification rh whitaker proposed this classification four criteria you remember but question aapka kiske liye aa raha hai ki which of the criteria is not utilized so reproduction is the criteria which is not utilized by vitaker after that ye jo chart hai iski proper analysis kariye dekhiye chart mein prokaryote mein only single kingdom aapke paas hai one and only single kingdom of prokaryotic organization is monera and question yahan pe aapko milega in five kingdom classification how many kingdoms belongs to eukaryotic organization eukaryotic organization ke dekhiye kitne kingdoms hai aapke paas four kingdoms are there for eukaryotic organization clear second question also comes from this chart that is the how many kingdoms show the unicellular grade of organization so among five kingdoms of vitekers theek hai monera and protista show the unicellular that means out of five kingdom two kingdoms you remember are of kaise hai aapke paas unicellular in organization clear hai 
ऑटोट्रॉपिक नेचर आपका अगर है तो ऑटोट्रॉपिक व्हेन वी स्टडी इन डिटेल सो सम ऑफ द मेंबर्स ऑफ प्रोटिस्टा आल्सो शो द ऑटोट्रॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन एंड सम ऑफ एंड एंटायर प्लेंटी आपके पास अवेलेबल है एज अ ऑटोट्रॉपिक न्यूट्रिशन सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्लासिफिकेशन पार्ट वेरी वेल ट्राई टू सॉल्व दीज क्वेश्चन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस एंड इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई अगेन कम कम अप विथ किंगडम मोनेरा सो एवरी वीडियो एज आई मेन्शन अर्लियर और एज आई प्रोमिस यू अर्लियर कि एवरी सेशन इज रिलेटेड विद द नेक्स्ट सेशन माई नेक्स्ट सेशन इज एवरी टाइम रिलेटेड विद माई प्रीवियस क्लास सो टूडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन एंड डिफरेंट क्लासिफिकेशन सो इन नेक्स्ट सेशन आई कम अप विद द किंगडम मोनेरा सो इन दैट वी स्टडी अबाउट आर्की बैक्टीरिया बैक्टीरिया एंड माइकोप्लाज्मा टिल द टाइम मेंटेन योर स्पिरिट ऑफ द स्टडी be healthy and stay positive okay and thank you